the stats every minute is quick. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. In this video, we're going to talk about Pepe on Solana. Okay, guys, as you may be aware, if you trade meme coins at all, Pepe, um, the top meme coin in crypto, okay, alongside things like Dog, uh, dog With Hat, uh, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, right? Pepe on Ethereum chain has reached a new all time high, okay, actually broke $7 billion dollars okay so that's been going absolutely crazy so a lot of people are going to be talking about pepe as you can see on coin market cap right here it's been going absolutely crazy sitting right now at 6.2 billion market cap right uh so pepe on ethereum is going crazy right um but i'm going to talk about the pepe on solana because you know solana is quickly becoming the number one go-to meme coin uh, go-to blockchain for meme coins right and um, when normies get onboarded into the market, most of them are going gravi to gravitate towards popular meme coins, but they're also going gravita to uh, gravitate towards cheap blockchains like Solana or Basechain. But Solana seems to be taking the lead right now when it comes to meme coins. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. They actually did flip Ethereum in volume. So with Pepe pumping on Ethereum, right? Pepe obviously being, you know, on everybody's lips, right? Not a lot of people know about the Pepe on Solana, which is sitting at a $56 million market cap at the time of recording this video, with an all-time high of $80 million, And this is all literally within four days, right? And one of the main reasons why I think that this one will do well is for the simple fact that uh, this guy, Paulie, OX, 0X or whatever, right, on Twitter. This is the person who actually called, or one of the people that called uh, Pepe on Ethereum at 300k market cap, uh, you know, in the early stages, right? Within 19 days, this went to over a billion dollars in market cap, 1.6 billion actually, listed on Binance, everything. And he was one of the people that, helped get it listed on Binance and things like that. So he's got a strong reputation in calling meme coins, right? Um, you know, he donated, you know, with a few other people, he donated over a million dollars or $2 million or something like that worth of Pepe to Matt Fury, who's actually the creator of the Pepe art and things like that. So he's got, you know, he's got, a, you know, a great reputation when it comes to calling something like Pepe, for example, right? Um, and he's actually calling this as well. This is where I heard it from, right? Pepe on Solana a few days ago. And I bought this at around 13 million market cap. It went to 80 million market cap, okay? And I'm still holding this token. And as you can see, it's consolidating pretty well. It looks like, well, this is holding up strong. You see a lot of uh, meme coins on Solana. They come up and you could tell something that's not really gonna last very long because they dump immediately. It's called a pump and dump, right? But this one, it came up, parabolic run, okay? Um, and you know, we're on the one hour chart. So it's not like I'm on the one day or the four hour, right? We're on the one day chart, sorry, the one hour chart. And you can see this consolidation here. It looks like it's gearing up for the next leg, right? It looks like it's gearing up for the next leg, right? And um, I've talked about many meme coins on that channel before. Another one is Andy, for example, right? So Andy, Pepe, Andy, they're in the boys club. Brett is another one on base chain, right? Brett is pumping. Andy's pumping. We talked about Andy. And uh, Andy has now hit new all-time highs as well. Okay, guys? Um, obviously, this is on Ethereum. And I said Andy on Ethereum, right? Andy on Ethereum. And many were chasing the Andy on Blast or the Andy on Solana and so on, right? I said strictly Andy on Ethereum, right? And Andy on Ethereum has now gone to 143 million market cap, right? And that's, you know, that's at the moment, okay? So, you know, you can see that's performed pretty well. And, you know, for me, it's just about following the money, right? I'm just following the money, right? Do I see this Pepe, right, on Solana? Not Pe so we're not talking about buying Pepe on Ethereum right now, right? Because Pepe on Ethereum is already, it's, it's at $6 billion. Now, I'm not saying this can't go a lot higher because it can go a lot higher, right? Shiba Inu went to 40 billion market cap, right? 
I believe it's 40 billion. It might be 60 billion. Something between 40 and 60 billion market cap, right? So Pepe could have another 10x in it, right? This bull run. Or even more. You just never know. Like, things could just go crazy, right? But sitting at 6 billion market cap right now, obviously it's just ran up a lot, okay? From the lows, right, a month ago, okay? Just over a month ago. It's done almost another 300, uh, 300%, 263%. It's sitting at a $6 billion dollar market cap okay guys so things like andy right i see it running a lot more okay potentially all right guys obviously it's a beta play on pepe right but pepe on solana right 54 million dollars in market cap i see this going a lot higher i see this going to 500 million a billion that's a 20x from here right that's only a 20x from here and if it manages to catch up with something like Pepe on Ethereum, right? Obviously, that's a lot of that's a lot of X's, right? But ultimately, I'm following the money because what you see is this in four days running from a zero to 80 million in market cap, 1.6 million dollars in liquidity, right? And it's being spearheaded by uh, Paulie, the same person that called Pepe on Ethereum at 300k market cap, and and made a bunch of millionaires right he held it all the way up i'm not sure if he took some profits in between but obviously that would be the smart thing to do right but we know that he was a massive holder on uh, pepe on ethereum he's now a huge holder on the pepe on solana and this is the one that he's talking about this is the one that he's calling up and you know people are following this he actually just got on the spaces with soldier boy uh and there was you know there was a lot of drama in that space is right because a lot of people don't like this guy right for some reason right? a lot of people have issues with him because he is a little bit of a troll and uh, you know uh, people have their personal issues with him but one thing you can't deny is that he's made people a lot of money he owns his own exchange pondo x we talked about that on the channel before we talked about another token that he owns which is pork okay guys pepe fork um so it's not the first time that i've mentioned poorly right but um yeah, he's he, he is is behind basically. But there's other Pepe's on Solana, okay. There's other Pepe's on Ethereum, but because he's calling it, that's why it's doing well because he has a huge community, a huge following, okay, guys. And it's a community of whales, okay, guys. He had two hundred and twelve thousand followers, okay. So he's not in the millions, but this is two hundred twelve thousand people, which is a lot of people. His engagement is very good, okay, guys. When he does a space, he's getting like five thousand people in the space, two thousand, three thousand, okay. There's one point. In fact, he's on a space right now with just under two thousand people in the space, okay, guys. And he's ruthless. He's non-stop on Twitter. Engagement, 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 right? And he is getting behind and backing this token with his influence, right? He's not on the team or anything like that. So, I think that. This is why, or, or let's just say this is why I'm bullish on this particular token. And I want to share it with you. And this is the first video that I've done in probably a few weeks. Because the, the crypto space is getting a little bit, it's getting a little bit annoying to be honest. You know, you've got celebrities launching tokens now, pump and dumps and all that sort of stuff. Because Donald Trump is talking about crypto, which is good for crypto, right? But what you're finding now is a bunch of celebrities are, you know, whenever you see celebrities getting into crypto, it kind of like gets a bit bearish for me, in my opinion, right? Gets a bit bit of a bearish season, in my opinion, right? So, but yeah, I mean, I wanted to come on video and, make, and talk about this particular token because nobody's talking about it on YouTube yet, right? Uh, Jake Gagan just did a spaces as well with Paulie, all right? And he's got a huge following. So people are starting to hear about it. And I want to tell you about it while it's on a pullback, on a dip, because this is the first dip okay guys if you know anything about elliott wave theory you get a one wave you get a three wave you get a five wave okay so this is the one wave okay and then you normally get like an abc correction but you know you can't really you, you can't really judge those sorts of things on a meme coin right but the third wave is normally the biggest wave and that seems to mirror in these types of tokens right so this is the first pullback once we see the next leg that will probably be the biggest leg or i hope it will be anyway because i've got a nice position in this particular project so i want to share it with you guys and um 
yeah, I mean, mostly I've just been trading meme coins in the background because, you know, ultimately we had that huge AI run. We made a lot of money on the AI tokens, right? But just inevitably we see a call off, right? There's, there's a call off. Maybe we see another leg soon. But I like to follow the money and I go where the action is. And the action right now is on Solana with the meme coins. So that's where I've been degening over on Solana with the meme coins. Okay, guys? But it is very dangerous over here. It's very dangerous, all right? But this, something like this, I feel like is a pretty safe bet. Obviously, it's not financial advice. Everything is risky. But I'm saying in comparison to some of the other coins that I've looked at, this one's a safe bet. So that's really all I've got for you in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell for notifications. I'll see you in the next video.